I am Sarah Bondock, and I am presenting on behalf of Team 41 in week three presentation number two of the current international business environment. Today, we'll be looking at how technology is affecting the growth of international business. So how has technology changed the world? In the last decade, technology has become available to more people in more places. It is no longer restricted to certain countries or markets, and the increased ability has allowed more people to connect globally. The impact of international business has increased communication, reduced the expense of travel, and allowed streamlining of supply chains. We'll take a look at the impact of technology on different industries, including telecommunications, social media, transportation, production, market globalization, e-commerce, as well as online banking. Let's start with telecommunication. Communication in the past would have taken days or even weeks. It included mediums such as letter writing, telegraphs, or even long distance phone calls. This would lead to delays in deal making, negotiations, and general business interactions globally. Today, communication with technology includes fast-paced mediums like emails, video conferencing, and messaging through apps like Skype, Teams, Chime, and Slack. It is now possible to reach any time zone at any time, increasing the ability to reach new markets and leads to faster negotiations and deal making. If we turn to social media, social media is an extension of telecommunications. Increased business insight in social media leads to following trends in fashion, art, product launches, and also allows companies to interact directly with their audiences through mediums like LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. If we switch gears here to transportation, we can take a look at how the changes in technology and transportation have now increased the ability to distribute products globally. So there's no longer long wait times of months for shipments, faster deliveries to consumers, increased velocity in the supply chain, and more choices on the ways of to source transportation, including ships, planes, trains, and trucking. The, this also increases the way that we work together. It allows people to work in person more easily. International travel can take days rather than weeks or months. More choices in transportation source, sources include commercial planes, private corporate jets, and high-speed trains. When we look at production, advances in production have included production planning, the ability for financial planning platforms, as well as increased ability to market products. It also allows the diversified manufacturing with production in multiple countries and allows more flexibility to source the best price for suppliers. This all comes together with market globalization, which is the ability to market and produce products around the world. The internet has created a global marketplace, including television, transportation, and social media into that marketplace has changed the scope of how we market products. Sharing trends globally also increases demand for these products. Think of food chains like McDonald's, Pizza Hut, clothing like jeans and different trends that are coming up in fashion, and then also the demand for electronics. When we move to e-commerce, platforms and websites that specialize in selling products online, it allows small businesses to create their own sites and enable sales globally to all markets. It also creates de demand for products in new markets that might not have been reached in the past. It helps enter a market online before developing a brick and mortar store in real, in real time. Integrated with sales, payment, and shipping options allows companies to house all of these different departments in one place and allows easy transactions for their customers. Online banking platforms have changed the way that people pay they can pay now from anywhere. Purchases can be made from anywhere in the world. Money management is now in the palm of your hand and paying employees for global markets can now be done with the push of a button. It also allows for differences in procuring supplies and deliveries that make it more streamlined and easier for firms to do. So what does this mean for the future of international business? Technology will continue to evolve and change. It'll be important for businesses to stay on top of these technology trends. And it will be a change in the way that we see products from a change from products to now services. It also will be an emphasis in, on the ease of doing business for not only companies, but consumers. Thank you.